హలో అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ది ఫిఫ్త్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఇన్ అవర్ సిరీస్ ఆన్ ఆయుర్వేద ఇన్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ అండ్ న్యూరో సైన్సెస్ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఎపిసోడ్స్ వీ వర్ డిస్కసింగ్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ అబౌట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫండమెంటల్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ఆయుర్వేద డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజికల్ అండ్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ఆయుర్వేద గుడ్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ ప్రాక్టీసెస్ వాట్ ఆర్ ది సింటమెటాలజీ దట్ ఈస్ టేకెన్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ బై ఆయుర్వేదిక్ ప్రిన్సిపల్స్ ఫర్ మెంటల్ హెల్త్ డిజార్డర్స్ హౌ దే ఆర్ మేనేజ్డ్ అండ్ ట్రీటెడ్ and what are good life practices according to ayurveda now we'll change our focus a little bit and discuss about ayurveda and its application in neurological disorders come let us meet our expert in ayurveda there are three doshas so they are vata pitta and kapha vata is given a prime imp- because it is the one which in physiologically governs the neurological functions so all the neurological disorders have been explained in ayurveda under the spectrum of vata vyadi and also under the spectrum of marma ghata where three marbas have been identified one is the urinary bladder second one is the heart and last one is the brain hence the marma vyagata related to the shiras or the brain there the concept of neurological disorders has been explained in ayurveda the neurological disorders in ayurveda are classified into two types based on the pathology involved it so the first classification is the dhatukshaya or we called as tissue depletion or the degeneration the second one is called avarana where there will be impedance to the movement or the normal functions of vata and from the treatment point of view again the neurological disorders are classified into two where the neurological disorders exclusively caused due to the vata or the neurological disorders caused in associ- other doshas associated with vata there are around 80 neurological disorders that are been told in ayurveda which are exclusively called due to the involvement of vata dosha apart from that there are also few of the main neurological disorders that have been mentioned in ayurveda like pakshagata which is equated to that of the cerebrovascular accidents there is called as adharanga vata which is paraplegia there is ardita which is equated to the facial paralysis and there is sarvanga vata where all the spectrum of the degenerative neurological disorders come under it the causative factors or the underlying factors which are responsible for the causation of neurological disorders in ayurveda can be broadly classified into three one is the dietetic factors the second one is the activity factor and the third is the trauma when it comes to that of the food factor especially the foods which are very dry cold and predominantly in astringent pungent and bitter taste increases the vata whereas when it comes to that of activity uh, activity which is uh, not corresponding to one's strength can lead to it and especially the injury to that of the shiro marma marma that is the brain is also a causative factor for the manifestation of neurological disorders according to ayurveda the symptoms of neurological disorders in ayurveda are basically or mainly identified through clinical examination so this is based upon the symptoms this is based upon the site of the involvement and the type of motor and sensory involvement that is been seen for example a site involvement of one limb like a monoplegia is called as ekanga vata which is identified similarly a involvement of a half side of the body which is called as pakshagata which is hemiplegia and the motor symptoms especially that are noticed is the complete functional loss of that one limb or the half side of the body and different signs of sensory symptoms like the burning sensation pain the numbness etc these form the basic clinical understanding in understanding the neurological disorders in ayurveda this concludes the fifth episode in our series on ayurveda in mental health and neurosciences this episode exclusively focused on the importance of ayurvedic principles in neurological disorders 
what are the main neurological disorders according to Ayurveda, how are the symptoms recognized and what are the underlying factors. We will be back with our next episode. Namaste.